Hello everyone, this is Paul from Half I May. We have some friends using the built-in wireless Apple CarPlay, the Z-Link, but he cannot connect. The screen always stuck on the waiting screen. Today, I made a list. I will show you step by step how to connect these functions. Now, let's go. Now, the first step is to check the original Bluetooth if it have connected to the cell phone. You can disable the Bluetooth. That way, your cell phone will not connect to the original Bluetooth because the CarPlay not allowed to use the Bluetooth at the same time. You can also go to cell phone here. This is the OEM Bluetooth connections. I click it. Forget this device. Forget. Okay. So, you just go to Android side and connect the cell phone. Then we'll be fine. This is the first step. The second step is to track the setting in the Android screen. Now, I will show you which one you need to check. Go to Settings, Battery. Here, it have a Z-Link here. You need to choose this, okay? Sure, you need to choose the Android Bluetooth here. The second is here. Click icon, setting icon. Background connection, you should set to on here. That way, when you get into the car, it will connect the CarPlay on the background. Also, default connection, choose last mode here. Okay. And microphone, set to none. The next is to check the Bluetooth connections. In the Bluetooth menu, some friends, it have a lot of connections here. You can delete some connections or you can remove all these connections. Uh, for example, I delete here. Delete and you can uh, remove the records here. That way, you can pair again. Number five, you can take a look the Wi-Fi here. Sometimes it have a lot of Wi-Fi connections here. You can forget some connections. I just forget this, okay? That way, to make sure in the Wi-Fi here, it don't have other connections, especially to delete the old connections in the Wi-Fi menu. Now, I'm talking about the settings in the cell phone. When you use the CarPlay, make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on. This is the first thing. The second thing is go to General here, CarPlay, Zilling here. Make sure the CarPlay setting should set to on. Okay, here. In this menu, if you see not only one, but also have other connections, you can delete some of them, or you can delete all of them here in this menu. That way, you can try to connect again. Okay, okay, now I connect again. Turn on the Bluetooth. Go to telephone here. And we just see here, pair it, pair, allow. Okay, now it connects to the Bluetooth, right? The Wi-Fi is on and pop up a message, use CarPlay. That way, it will go to the CarPlay for sure, no preference. You can see in general, CarPlay here, the link here is turned on automatically. So, if I turn off 
the couplet will stop. See here. So this setting also important. Okay, in the cell phone, just only these settings. But some friends uh, do like this, but still not work. You can take a look at Bluetooth. In your cell phone, if there's a lot of connections and Bluetooth keys here, you can delete some of them. For example, I want to uh, delete this. Just forget this device. Forget it. Because too much connections will affect the connections for the couplet. Okay? Uh, also notice this. And if you do the way as I mentioned, but it still not work, you can uh, take a look at the next steps here. Don't forget to hit the use CarPlay. Because I use the CarPlay every day, sometimes I get into the car, my cell phone in the bag. That's not nearby my hand. But I'm driving, that's not convenient to take out the cell phone and hit the button in the cell phone. So, you also notice this. Sometimes this can also have the problems for the CarPlay connections. Okay, that's what I mean. The number five is restart the cell phone and the Android screen. Restart the cell phone, you just uh, power off and power on again. That's easy. And restart the screen, you can do like this here. Uh, just restart it, okay? The number six is to reset the Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. Uh, what I mean is, go to the setting here. Android. System. Reset options. You can reset Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth here. And after that, you can connect the Bluetooth again, okay? Number seven is reinstall the Zilling apps. The Zilling app can reinstall uh, this Zilling here. You can delete it. Uninstall this app. Click OK. Then we'll delete this app. After that, it here, APK installers. Because this app is a default app for the Android screen, it is inside here. Click OEM here. You can see CarPlay, Zilling, APK, uh, this version here. You can close it and install here. Okay, this button to install again. This also a way uh, to handle this problems. The number eight is update the Zilling apps. Here is the version for the Zilling here, this one. Sometimes this version is too old. It also has problems for the connections. You can ask the seller to offer you the new version for the Zilling apps and reinstall it. Uh, number nine is update the iOS version. Sometimes the iOS version in your cell phone is too old. It also not connected. This is the version for my cell phone here. Thank <laughs> you.